Saturday morning, I'm Chloe Thibault. And I'm Erin Myler. Thank you for joining us for our Coats and Toys for Kids special today. Now with your help, we estimate we've collected more than 800,000 coats and more than 80,000 toys over the years. Yeah, it's all to make sure every child in Maine can stay warm during the winter and have a toy under the tree for the holidays. Our crews are out now at Hannaford, Shaw's and Pratt Abbott locations and they'd love to meet you and thank you for your donations. Now let's start in Sanford where Sharon, Lee and Todd are spending their morning at the Hannaford on Main Street. Hey guys. Hey, it Hi. has been a great day so far. Oh, um, so good. Our friends at the Salvation Army tell us that they've never seen a need as great as they have Ooh. this year. And so um, we're glad that we're kicking things off today oh, yeah. and you still have a couple more days to donate um, if you haven't, or a, a few more weeks to donate if you haven't yet. Mm. But we're off to a good start and you have some totals. Oh, uh, we have some great, I, we need to thank Chris Bernazzani for tallying up these numbers, but. Just we, at oh, our location, oh. oh! Look at this guy, whoa, careful. You're almost running into people there. Are we on? <laughs> we are on, yeah. <laughs> One of the many. What an entrance. <laughs> are you all right? Are you all right? Going, the thing. Down yeah. aisle to seven. Clean up on aisle seven. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> Maybe we need a clean up in the lobby, as a matter yeah, of fact. Exactly, this exactly. is one of the many amazing toys that was donated that is going to make an amazing Christmas morning for some child in need. Absolutely. And we have many more. More, not, yeah. I mean, we have the coats, of course. 75% have been brand new coats, actually, this season. 25% have been gently used, which Pratt Abbott will be cleaning. But 450 of coats, 75 hats, 65 sets of gloves, 325 toys, two bicycles, one of them hopefully still works. I know. I, know. I don't know. Maybe a flat tire. Too big for, this one. <laughs> for, too big for bikes. The tires but. are a little lower than they probably should be at oh this point. Oh my so. gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. That's just at this location, yeah. too, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Cash and gift cards. This is a big one because, look, we have lots of toys. You know, I mean, Oh, 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 oh. oh, I still got it. You see those hands, Goldie? <laughs> Could catch every one of these balls. <laughs> anyway, but the gift cards can go to like the teenagers, and then they can select whatever it is they want. Right. Because as you know, and you know, and I know now because I have teenagers. Buying for the teens is tough. I, I have no clue what yeah. they want. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, the, so everything, you know, whatever it is that you can give, it works. We've had people come with hand knit hats yeah. and gloves and, they and make mittens. them throughout the year. And they I make mean, them throughout and the certainly year. Certainly for us yep. here, they're, they're, we're seeing the same people that we see every yeah, year. Yeah, there's like, a lot of familiar faces. Our, our friends that, that we wait and see them annually, and they work all year to make the gloves and to make yep. the hats, and they want to come see us and say hello and, and give, and it's just such a great thing. And then every year we have new people, like the couple who came all the way down from Brunswick to come to this right? location today. Yeah. That was so sweet, and they brought a couple of coats Yeah, for and us, we so. should point out that there were many other stops that they could have gone to but they chose to come to Sanford because they, you know, they kind of wanted to hang with, with us a little bit. And then I... Just saying, just saying. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much for all your generosity today. It was a typical Coats and Toys for Kids Day where we got to hang with people in the community, see the generosity, hear some stories, yeah. and just it just puts you in the holiday spirit. So thank Hold you on. for that. What, what, what we got? No, they need me in aisle six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go. All right, clean up is about to happen on aisle six. That's a good place for him. Now back right. to you, Chloe. And Bye. Chloe, it's back to you. Now we're collecting donation at stores all around Maine, so come and see us to drop off an unwrapped toy or a new or gently used coat. Yeah, our Sean Stackhouse and Raya Wooten are at the Shaw's on Main Street in Bangor. How has the morning been for you guys so far? Actually, Chloe, it's been amazing. We're having a big turnout and it's feeling a lot like Christmas. Sean, tell us about what we have so far here. Well, it, Raya hit the nail on the head. It's been a fantastic morning so far. We've gotten loads of coats, plenty of brand new coats. You can see this one, the size for a child, but we've been getting plenty of coats for adults too. It is just as important to remember uh, that uh, these coats can go to anyone in need and especially some of these older teenagers as well uh, that may be looking to stay warm this winter and toys we've been getting the mother load here we have nearly 80 toys so far that we have collected everything whether you know you, you got someone looking for a John Deere truck or even someone a bit younger in your life bringing in a doll like this it has just been such an incredibly fun day and the turnout's been really great 
And we also have a special guest. We have Major William, uh, William Thompson from the Salvation Army, and he's joining us. So tell us about how you feel about knowing that so many people are out and supporting and, you know, caring and sharing. Oh, well, it's a great cause, and we really appreciate the opportunity to team up with you, New Center, Maine, and Shaw's throughout the state. So on behalf of the Salvation Army, thank you so much for that. This is a great impact in our community, especially the coats. We've had a, a big turnout right there, not just here, but also in requests for coats. So as we continue this program right now, we're requesting as much as we can for size 12 and above. We're getting a lot of older kids and so forth asking. So uh, keep that in mind. If you're looking to go purchase a coat or donate a coat, we really appreciate that. It creates a great impact in our community. I mean, so just to keep warm is a great thing. We always talk about food, but going out to get your, uh, your mail, you might think, oh, it's a nice day. Well, stand outside for 15 minutes. You really can use a coat. So if you have the opportunity, please help us out, provide a coat for somebody in need. Definitely come out. We just got a few more donations here and we're going to keep it going and we're going to send it back to you, Chloe, there to check on everybody else at all the other locations that we are at today. Awesome. Thank you, Raya, so much. We appreciate seeing that support. All right, we're collecting coats and toys for a few more weeks, but we'd love to see you and thank you for your donation today. Now let's check in with our Don Kerrigan, Vivian Lee, and Ann Baldridge, and Sam Olson, who are collecting t coats and toys all morning long at the Hannaford on Coney Street in Augusta. Hey guys, we're here at the Hannaford in Augusta, like Chloe and Aaron told you. I'm here with Captain Keith Davis from the Salvation Army. Oh, Keith, good. what's the that's need good. like for all of these donations we're getting today? It's great and growing all the time. We have over 500 kids just in Kennebec County alone sign up for coats and toys this year. Wow, that's a lot of kids. And what's the process like from today to getting all of these donations out into the community? Excellent. We're going to get these right over to our toy castle. We're going to have our volunteers sort everything, bag it all up, and we're going to get those right out to the families before Christmas. Awesome. Well, I'm going to send it on over to Sam to talk about some donations we've already received. Hey, Anne, like Sharon was saying, we've re received so many hand-knit hats and gloves. A couple actually brought this hat in from the Pittston Elementary School Craft Fair. And this little guy, Paddington, is one of the couple hundred toys we've received today. And if you can't make it out today, but you want to help, these boxes will be here through the end of the month. We're collecting toys through December 15th and coats and toys through December 31st. Vivian, how are we doing? Well, I want to talk about all the, the folks that have been reaching deep into their pockets for cash donations. We've collected here nearly $800 in this little box right here, guys. Come on in. And that money, as Todd talked about earlier, is going to gift cards for teens. I have teenagers, and they need things at Christmas as well, and this goes a long way. And I also want to take a shout out for Jen Simpson and Kelly Slater, our market manager, that are doing interference for us. Now, we've got some other wonderful folks here to talk about, right, Don? We do, Vivian. And We've got a whole crowd, I don't know who's manning the cash registers on the shelves right now, but we've got a whole bunch of folks from here at the Hannaford store at Coney Circle in Augusta. So if you haven't come yet, come on down and see us. So we're going to make one of you talk. So uh, I can't ask you to introduce everybody, but you guys are all taking it, stepping away from the registers and the shelves for the We moment, are, right? yes. Yep. This is for a good cause. Yep. Everybody's happy to help. Yeah. And uh, we crowd up your store here for a few hours <laughs> in the morning, so it complicates things. But That's all right. So did everybody, you said everybody wanted to give a little message here? Yep. All right. Somebody's going to have to, have to, One, what do we do? Two, three. Thank, Thank you for your support. support. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support. It makes a difference to a whole lot of people. Thanks very much. You're so there, Thank you. we have a great group of people here at the, the Hannaford who help us out here every year, clear things out. Uh, it gets kind of complicated here in the entryway because we get in the way, but it's nice to be here. I have to mention this hat. This wonderful lady who came in with about a dozen hats that she had knit. She wouldn't let us take a picture, wouldn't want to go on right. TV, but uh, she brought in these hats. They're beautiful. Yes, they are. And that's what people do. A lot this. of love goes into those hats, Don. So. Yeah. And there's something about Coats for Kids that really touches people. Definitely. definitely. And so thank you. Well, come see us. We're still here. We'll have the boxes up, like Sam said. Come help needy kids and teenagers this Christmas. Again, there's more information on our website, New yep. Center app, and back to and you we guys. Have to, so for the folks at the other, at the other sites, We've got hundreds of coats that right. have been brought in and a couple hundred Hundreds of cash. Uh, yes, hundreds in cash and a couple hundred toys. So, right. so we're getting a lot brought in here. You guys better keep up. Yeah. Back to you guys in the studio. 
think Don Kerrigan's getting a little competitive. Thank you guys. Love to see those hand handmade oh, yeah. items. They're really special. A good thing to be competitive about too. So exactly. go and go to your local store and gotta win. Absolutely. All right, coming up, we're gonna be checking in with our coats and toys for kids teams in Auburn and Portland. Even if you can't make it out to see us today, you can still help make sure every child in Maine has a happy holiday and a warm winter by buying a gift from our wish list. You'll find it at newcentermaine.com or you can just text the word kids to 828-6622. We'll send a link with more information right to your phone. Saying it all morning, it is Coats and Toys for Kids Day here at New Center, Maine and around the state. And we need your help to make sure every child in Maine has a happy holiday season and a warm winter. Now let's check in with Amanda Hill, Brian Yacono, and Jack Mulma. They're ready to take your donations at Shaw's on Center Street in Auburn. Oh, we are more than ready. No, we, we are 
taking the donations. Yes, they are coming in as we are speaking right now. <laughs> um, nice little collection actually behind us of just some of the generosity that's come so far this morning. Uh, we have bags and bags of coats back there as well. Um, and I think one of the fun things that we often talk about this is the personal stories that so oh, often come. Yes. Uh, and I use the word fun uh, very lightly because uh, some of them are very deep emotional stories that uh, so many of you have come in and shared with us. We just had uh, one come in that uh, hit both of us pretty Ugh, hard. Um, yeah. So we appreciate the generosity uh, and hearing why you're doing what you're doing today. Yes, and so many different reasons why people are donating. And we act we also, on the other end of the spectrum here, just had a very small boy, five mm. months old, Everett, made his very first donation, first of many years to come, donating to yes, Coats Mom and Toys for Kids. Yes, Mom says she plans to keep coming in year after year. What else do we got, Jack? Oh, we do have company. Imagine that. Hello. 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 How are you guys doing? Oh, great. You're this doing is, wonderful. This is a man who who has been coming for 20 years, yes. donating two bikes every year. He does this. You just said it's the least he can do. And we, you know, it's been so much fun, but also this is a community we all know that has had a tough month. Yeah, that's right, Amanda. Well, people have been making their way to come specifically here to Auburn at the Shaws to drop things off. I talked with one uh, nurse, actually, who works out of Freeport, and she drove up here to Auburn specifically to drop off clothes. She tells us that she knows the lowest in an Auburn community have specifically gone through a tough time uh, this last month or two here. So she really wanted to make sure that, you know, kids here um, have an opportunity to have something for this holiday and have something warm for these winter months ahead. Um, above all else, people have been extremely happy just to be a part of this and, and donate their items for us here. Um, just like this bike here and just like we, I believe we got, what are they called, Squishmallows? Oh, so yes. many. Yeah. A lot Why don't you pick one up, yes. Brian? So Look many at that there. Uh, we got about, this is huge this yeah. year. So, yeah. yeah, this is a big deal. Well, a lot we, of these. We get a lot of these, I think, the last two years we've had, because you were here last year mm -hmm. with us, too. And I think these have been big this the last is... few years. What do I know about toys? But... I, well, that's <laughs> the boat I'm in, but people are coming in with bag loads of them. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of kids certainly going to be uh, with a smile this year. And another big thing we have seen this year, which we haven't seen as big in years past, mm. is the monetary donations. Mm. So many people have come in this year and said, I don't have a coat, I don't have a toy, but can Here's I give money? And that's been huge. That's been amazing. People opening their wallets for and, this. And our friends from the Salvation Army have been right here with us this morning taking those donations as well. Um, really making a difference this year, and we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Well, we'll be here for the next hour or so taking on donations. But the boxes that where you could donate, drop off that money and those clothes. Oh, look at that. We See, have somebody dropping off stuff. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank look at that. Donations have been pouring in um, for the last, what, two hours or so? Here. Picked and up so we'll be here for the next hour, but the amount of time that you could donate will be going on for the rest of the month. Um, that's it for us here. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Chloe, Aaron. Thanks, you guys. And yeah, with all those coats our viewers are generously donating, they are cleaned by Pratt Abbott before going to the kids who really need them to stay warm through the winter. Yeah, Keith Carson, Samantha York, and David Guildford are joined by Zach Blanchard and Dana Osgood at the Pratt Abbott on Forest Avenue in Portland this morning. How is it going for you guys so far? Hey, good morning, Aaron and Chloe. Um, well, I'm out of the box, so that's a, that's a good sign. We've had people trickling in all morning, donating coats and toys, um, some new coats, some used coats. So it's been a great morning here so far. And as we've been talking about too, these mornings are not possible without our viewers who are coming in to donate, but they're also not possible without local businesses who are giving us monetary donations. Vanessa Madore is the CEO and president of uh, Maine Banking and, or Maine Savings rather. You guys are donating 8,000 dollars. Why did you want to be a part of Coats and Toys for Kids Day? Well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, with Credit Union, as a credit union, people helping people is such our mission. Yeah. And this year in particular, we really wanted to make a difference this holiday season for kids. Yeah. No child should be without a toy or a coat this holiday season. And so as we looked for a meaningful way to give back and make a difference, this opportunity presented itself and it was with a heartfelt Oh yes, here we go. This is how we make a difference and show up in a meaningful way. And I couldn't be prouder for the organization that I get to lead every day. Well, and we thank you so much for your donation, Zach. I'll hand things over to you. All right, and I think you can you can take the check. I'm joined here by uh, Krista and Stuart Dahl Rumble with the Salvation Army. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Well, what does this money mean to you and your organization? Uh, we're so grateful for this generous donation. It's going to help us collect and distribute coats and toys all over the state of Maine. Last year, we uh, collected and distributed over 14,000 coats, 3,000 toys, and the need is greater this year. So this is just going to help us incredibly. We're so grateful. 
And just seeing the folks who have come out this morning, what has that meant to you? Oh, it's blessed my heart so much because the Army is nothing without the, uh, with the Army of Volunteers that are behind us. So every donation uh, just means so much. The, the corporations donating, but the individual donor, it means so much to see these individuals, children, older adults, middle aged, everyone coming in and just participating. We're so excited, so, so very grateful. Great, thank you so much. And we're going to have our whole crew join us now <laughs> because the outpouring of support this just morning lurking. truly has been incredible. Incredible. It has been incredible. Let's take some quick inventory here for a second. Uh, Sam is out of the box that she was in this morning. That's because it's been filling up. Look at this this Hot Wheels set for one. I would have loved to get that when I was 10 years old, but my favorite uh, stuff that we've received so far, some of these handmade items that people have brought in that they spent all year making. Some of these look better than what you would find on the shelves at a store. This is just incredible, and it shows uh, the heart of a lot of people who have been following this philanthropic effort for years and who uh, give very generously. So Chloe, it's been a great morning um, out here in Portland and people are still coming in. And of course you can still donate toys through the 15th and uh, gently used or new coats through the 31st. That is awesome to see Sam is out of the box. We've had success. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still to come, we'll visit with more of our Coats and Toys for Kids teams around Maine to find out what kind of donations they're seeing this morning. And if you can't make it out to see us today, you can still help by sending a check directly to the Salvation Army. That's at the address on your screen. They could really use donations to buy coats and warm winter clothing for older kids and teenagers. Thank you to everyone who is helping your fellow Mainers. We're going to check in with our Coats and Toys for Kids teams around the state one more time. We'll start in Sanford with Sharon, Lee, and Todd. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. The number one message that we want to say as we wrap up the morning is thank you. Yeah. We come out here early in the morning, and our crews come out and set things up, and we stand here, and we talk to people, and we eat the treats that they bring us, and we, <laughs> we get hugs that and That peanut pictures. butter fudge? Oh, Amazing. Next level, next level. <laughs> so, you know, 
it's so much fun, but the, the, the crux of it is all of you who come out to donate. And yeah. boy, did you show up this year yet again. Yeah, uh, we just surpassed 500 coats. It's actually 550. At that's this our location current count alone. right here. This location so that's, alone. A, that's sweet. Yeah, it's a feel-good day. You know, it's a feel-good day, and we all could use those this time of year right yeah. now. So mm -hmm. Maine always shows up. So super proud of our state. Thank you so much. Uh, the giving doesn't end today. There's lots of ways to give. You go to our website, you'll see how long yeah. you can still do it for. So, yeah, the, through uh, the 15th for toys yep. and through the 31st, 31st for coats. Yeah. End yep. of the year. So yep. thank you for all of your help so far. And Bangor, how are you guys doing up there? we got Sean and Raya and Donovan. There is so much love that is going around. I heard that you guys have about 550 coats. That's amazing. We have a lot going on here. We have bags and bags of items that are here to help and support families. So, Sean, tell us about all the things that we've received it's, today. It's been incredible, from, from coats to hand-knit hats and mittens. And we even got to speak with a woman who's been coming for years and years, even remembers the first Coats and Toys for Kids Day. It is one of our favorites. We always look forward to it, and we cannot thank all of you enough for helping make this all possible. Now let's check in with our team over in Augusta. How's it been there, guys? Hi, Sean. We've been having a blast here all morning, and like everybody's been talking about, like Sharon and Sam and Raya, it's all about the love. There was a gentleman from Alton, uh, his name is Alton, he came from Jesserson. He went out and bought this coat just for a kiddo and brought it back to us, and we've had amazing generosity yes. out here today. Yes, he was, he was here and then went home to brought the coat and brought it back. God love him. People bringing in toys too. These are guy toys. Well, they don't have to be, uh, but people. We've got hundreds of toys. And uh, Goldberg, we've. I'm sure we've got more coats than you do here so far. Okay, so definitely have more cash. Yes, yeah, so I've ran a lot of cash. So. Yeah, and if you guys want to help out, but you won't be able to be here today, these boxes will be here through the end of the month. And yeah, back to Portland. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Hello, yes, we're at Pratt Abbott on Forest Ave here in Portland where we've been, we've been all morning and we have some cash too. We just got $8,000 donated from Maine Savings to the cause. Um, Dana Osgood, meteorologist, this is your first Coats and Toys for Kids drive. How has your morning been? <laughs> Honestly, it's just been so great to be able to see what people, how people just want to help their community by donating toys, hats, and everything. I mean, it's not the greatest weather out there today, but mm -hmm. any weather is good donation weather. Get people out. I also like the main donation style. We talked about this. Some people come in this door. <laughs> they come in this door. They just go like this. They drop it in there. Turn around. Gone. And I was like, I that, that's yeah. such a main way to do it. I appreciate yeah. that about this. Like, I don't want any pictures or even to talk to anyone. I'm just here to help. Yeah, but yeah. the generosity has been it's absolutely great. incredible. Awesome. We're going to send things over to Auburn. Hey, good morning, guys. Things are hopping here in Auburn, as yeah. we usually expect from our good friends here. We just had a bunch of toys come in, uh, and a few folks say, hey, we literally just went shopping. Just a ladies' day shopping. They just brought in a bunch of jackets, but look at all this stuff. So much we can hide our jack. How you guys doing? <laughs> Hi to Jack. This has been incredible. We've had a lot of brand new coats just dropped off. We've had a lot of people dropping off money. This, like, how amazing is this? By the way, uh, Chloe and Aaron, we just had somebody come in, drop off some coats, and say to us, <laughs> we need more Aaron Myler. So I think we're done here. Um, <laughs> and we'll just send things back to you. But thank you, everybody who's so donating. Chloe, you just want to get out of the way real quick? Yeah, so yeah. I can have why don't you take it from here? <laughs> <laughs> no, when uh. I have to read a prompter, it goes terribly. So. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, well, that's going to do it for our Coats and Toys for Kids special, but you can still drop off donations at Shaw's, Hannaford, and Pratt Abbott stores all around the state today and in the coming weeks. And don't forget about our wish list. You don't even need to leave home to help a main child's wish come true. Just text the word KIDS to 828-6622, and we'll send you a link with more information. You you can also visit newcentermain.com. Thank you again to everyone making donations who's come out this morning. Thank you to our crews out there waking up early on a Saturday. You're really making a big difference for families in need around our state. Have a great day, everyone.